All right, guys, uh, here's the test review for tomorrow. I'll go over all these really quickly. We'll start over here with, you should be able to label what these are. Um, I'll put this in red. Uh, you should be able to label what these are, and the first, the first number um, in a variable term is called the coefficient. Uh, the letter in a term is called the variable. And finally, a term by itself is called a constant <coughs> because it does not ever change. All right, these ones are pretty easy. Uh, we just want to know that you can tell that how positive and positives and negatives work if we divide it by 8. 48 divided by 8 is 6, but we have that negative, so it's negative 6. 56, we'd have to divide by 7 to get rid of the 7 on both sides. x equals uh, 8, but we've got that single negative, so it's got to be a single negative. Negative 8's the answer. Uh, this one, I know 12 div x divided by 2 equals negative 6, so I know 12 divided by 2 is, is 6, but we've got that 1 negative, so it's got to be negative. I would have to multiply by 2 here to get rid of the 2. Multiply by 2 over here, negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. Over here, this just means 8 times negative 4, which is just negative 32. This does not mean subtraction. Remember, these mean mul parentheses mean multiplication. Uh, this one was a little weird. It was negative 18 divided by negative 3. That's just a weird computer font. And when I divide 18 by 3, I've got 6, and I've got 1 negative two negatives, which make this a positive. So done with those. All right, getting rid of the coefficients. These are always the last step uh, of all these algebra problems that we're doing, getting rid of the coefficients or the number in front of the variable, or that's with the variable. And these will always be multiplication or division. And the way we write those is obviously uh, parentheses and a line. So here. 3x equals 19, we got divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals, there's nothing we can do with that, 19 thirds. This one, in order to get rid of the 3 fourths, we have to multiply, or 4 thirds, we have to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 3 fourths and 3 fourths. Uh, that gets rid of those. x equals 12 times 3 is 36. There's that invisible 1 times 4 is 4 x equals 9. x equals, or 5 equals x divided by 9. So if we're dividing x by 9, now we got to multiply it by 9 to get rid of the divi divided by 9. I'll put a, and we get x equals 9 times 5 is 45. I just wrote it in a weird spot because you wouldn't see it against the white background. Okay, 6 fifth w equals one so we've got to multiply by i'm going to change the colors just so you can see it five six and then times five sixths and there's this invisible one and the reason why we do that is the the reciprocal cancels out the fractional coefficient and we get w equals just five times one is five and one times Six is six. Five sixths. All right, done with those. Write the reciprocal. Reciprocals are just the upside down. You keep the sign and just turn it upside down because it's they what multiply together to make positive one. So this one is uh, just let's go uh, four over one. Just switch them upside down, and that's just four. We keep the same sign, so it's negative 7 halves. 8 is, there's this imaginary 1 on the bottom, so that makes 1 eighth. And finally, uh, or not finally, uh, negative 1 6, we keep the same sign, and we say 6 over 1, which is just negative 6. And finally, Zero, is there anything we can multiply by zero to get to one? No, so the answer is no solution.
It's impossible. There is zero has no zero has no reciprocal. All right, let's get to the ones you guys probably need help on. Let's do this first one. Combining like terms. Uh, first, I gotta make sure I know what terms I'm talking about. Here's a constant term. Here's a constant term. Here's a. I wonder if I should not have used green because the green background. There's a y term. So we can see that I need to move this negative 39 over to this side, which will make it a positive 39. So if I'm going to rewrite the problem really quick, uh, for those people who are doing it advanced, plus 39, plus 39. But if you're moving the blocks, we can say minus 39, because I moved it over to one side, minus 31. Oh, excuse me. Uh, plus 39 because I moved it over. Equals negative y over 8. And I'll just make it black. Uh, 39 minus 31 is 8 equals y over negative y over 8. So this is y being divided by negative 8. Over here on this side, this is y being divided by negative 8. So we have to multiply by negative 8, both sides. And that gets rid of the negative 8 down here. And we get y equals negative 64. All right, let's do this one. 14 minus b over 8 equals 17. We've got a constant term. We've got another constant term over here. And we've got a, what color should I use on this blue? And we've got a variable term, b. We're solving for b, so we want b by itself. So I got to move that 14 over so we get negative b over 8 equals and we've got two red boxes over here now that because we're going to move the plus 14 over and it makes it a minus 14 and we still have plus 17 on this side minus 14 and plus 17 they're uh, opposite teams so we can subtract them to get three and the positive team wins so we get plus three we get negative b over eight now, to get, rid of, to get rid of the divided by negative 8, we need to multiply by negative 8. So that's b divided by negative 8. So the negative 8s get rid of, rid of each other, and we get b equals negative 24. Done. And finally, let's see. Uh, negative, let's see negative y divided by 5 plus 4 equals 14. We've got my y term. We've got my constant term, constant term, which is a plus 14. So it's pretty obvious. I need, If I want the y term all by itself, I need to move this, this term to the other side, and it switches its sign. So we've got negative y divided by 5 equals plus 14 and a negative 4. That, if you keep going, you simplify these. 14 minus 4 is 10, plus 10. And we get y minus, or y divided by negative 5 equals positive 10. So i got to multiply by negative 5 to get rid of the divided by negative 5. And that gets rid of the, the coefficient. We just get y equals negative 50. All right, so those are those. Last three. Okay, let's see. We've got, I'll just do them right underneath. We've got, I'll do a green, and for that I'll do a yellow. Okay. We've got the green variable term. The x term, we've got the green x term. 
I've got the yellow constant term and the yellow constant term. So if I need the greens, the X is all on one side. That means I need to move, I need to move this guy over here and I need to move this guy somewhere over here. So if I was gonna rewrite that pretty easily, I've got negative seven X and the 10 X switches side. So now it's a plus 10 X equals uh, positive eight and positive four stays on the same side. So we can combine those now. Negative seven plus 10 is positive three and that's the X category. 3X equals positive 8 plus 4 is positive 12. To get rid of the coefficient, I divide by 3 and get X equals 4. Next problem, uh, we've got the x term, which is a positive. We've got the other x term, which is a positive. We've got this constant term, which is a positive, and this other constant term, which is a negative. Okay, to get all the x terms on the same side, I'm going to move this one over here, and I'm going to move this one over here. So when they switch teams, they switch sides. They switch signs as well. So we're going to have plus 11x, we're also going to have now minus 6x, because it switched sides, equals, uh, let's see, minus 9, switches sides, switches, switches signs, and the negative 1 stays on the same side, so it keeps the same sign. Now we can combine that. 11 minus 6 is positive 5. And it belongs in the blue. Positive 5x equals negative 9 minus 1. They're both negative, so we can add those together and get 10. Negative 10. We can make the number bigger. They're both fighting for the same team. Finally, we divide by 5. And x equals negative 2. Last problem. Let's do the green for the negative 9. So that means green for this neg the x terms. Let's do the yellow. And the yellow for the constant terms. Again, the greens I need on one side, the x's. So I got to get that one over here and this one over there somewhere. So when I... I'm going to have two boxes on this, two green boxes on this side, two yellow boxes on this side. And the terms are going to be negative 9x because it stays on the same side. The negative 6x switches to plus 6x equals uh, positive 7 switches to negative 7, and 37 stays the same, plus 37. Those can combine to. Negative 9 plus 6, you can subtract them since they're fighting in opposite teams, which is 3. And the negative team wins. Negative 3x equals, let's see, that would be 37 minus 7 is 30. Now I have to divide by negative 3. x equals negative 10. And just like that, there is the test review. If you're good on those, you're going to be good to go. All right, good luck.